special kind of electrical box um, that we use on the outside walls and ceilings um, to help prevent air penetration into the wall cavity. This box has a flange that when they put the drywall on, they can put a bead of glue or you could use a foam gasket to seal uh, around the box. Um, where they run their wires through here in the back, there's a little chamber here that we use spray foam. Um, fill that chamber up and that keeps any air from leaking into the box. So we use these on the wall, extra walls and ceiling for light fixtures. So this is an electrical box that doesn't have the flange. Um, where the wire comes in, I use the duct sealant to seal around the wire. And then once we sheetrock around the box, then I'll caulk that seam between the drywall and the electrical box. So obviously the ones with the flanges around them work much better. Penetration that the heating guys went through the exterior wall, so they've used duct sealant um, to seal their pipe that goes through the wall cavity. Um, I also use that duct sealant um, for electrical boxes that don't have the flanges. So here again, any penetrations between the floor, the wall, or the ceilings, we have to seal up. So this is the plumbing lines coming up through the floor. Um, we use the spray foam around that. We'll also seal around the pipes where the, they penetrate the drywall. Um, here's the water lines coming up through the floor. They've been foamed. We seal around the shower base, around the toilet flanges. Okay, so what we're looking at now is the, where the drain for the bathtub penetrates the floor, the drain and the overflow valve, um, and um, that has to be sealed. Um, usually the plumbers cut out a pretty good chunk of the flooring, so you have to patch it in and then seal around it. And right in front of that, you'll see the two water lines for the bathtub going down through the wall plate, and those have been sealed also. So what we're looking at is um, underneath the bathtub, and this is the outside wall. Um, and this is a great place for air to come into the, from the outside wall into the house. So before we install the bathtub, we put this a wafer board or you could use um, drywall, but put it up, seal around the edges of it, and then install the bathtub. Do the same thing, whether it's a bathtub or a shower or a fireplace. You need to seal that exterior wall cavity up and then install the fixture. And then the windows, all around the windows, we use the spray foam um, and fill the cavities there. If it's too small to use the foam, then we can run a bead of caulk along the bottom edge. So this pocket door frame partially extends into an exterior wall. You can see the wall cavity back here. Um, so to keep air from getting into this pocket door frame, which then would get into the house, we had to seal the back of the, um, or the inside of the wall here before we installed the pocket door frame. Piece of wafer board with caulking around it to seal it up.